Okay, this is Eddie Augustine. Today we're uh, doing a demo with our inner seeder that we built uh, on Augustine Farms. It's uh, using a parallel linkage seeding unit that's mounted to a cultivator frame and uh, we are accomplishing 12 rows at a time. Uh, in the back of the unit is an air delivery system which sends the seed out to each union, each row unit and then we can set the depth and plant in between the corn rows um, a variety of clovers and uh, uh, ryegrass and things like that so they'll initially start growing here in the next few weeks and then kind of lay dormant till the corn is harvested in the fall at that point it'll green up and gives you a nice covering um, and then we can come back and splash liquid manure on the top uh, saving the soil and uh, keeping the nutrients in the soil. Um, there was only uh, six row units available and in order to uh, make better time with our better use of our time uh, we went to work and built a 12 row unit. So there was some engineering issues we encountered so we're still doing some testing and making some changes but all in all it's, it's worked fairly well. Actually, we were going to put the air seeder unit right on top of the uh, toolbar but once we hung all the units on there it just got too heavy uh, so we ended up having to build some linkage so that we could mount the unit behind and trail it yet we didn't want to pull it like a trailer so we've got it on a pivoting axle which came off of a swatter so as I turn the wheels just pivot and follow me down the row. Um, another thing is uh, trying to get the spacing on the units so we had to build a setback on this one because the unit came right out at the hinge point um, so little things like that and uh, currently we have a tractor on that has pretty wide tires initially would be nice to have something with narrower tires but uh, this is what we had so this is what we worked with so some point down the road we may um, put a unit on that's got different tires uh, this particular unit is ground driven there's a wheel in the back so when we set the unit down it incorporates in, in the ground and then it uh, incorporates a metering device as we pick it up it comes off the ground uh, the hope is someday to have a tractor with um, GPS auto steer and uh, hydraulic drive which will uh, compensate for the speed and then uh, just drive the unit hydraulically.